Thank you, Adam. I'm a child psychologist. I'm the guy in the federal government that reads the incidents and the reports from the first responders and the eyewitnesses for all kinds of consumer product related injuries, drowning included. And the federal government has put together safety tips to help prevent these tragedies related to pool and spa drownings. And they've put them together at a website called poolsafely.gov. We cover 15,000 categories of consumer products, but really the pools are near and dear to our heart because year after year, we see hundreds of incidents come across our desk. And we have to do something, we have to do it better, we have to get the message out better to the nation. There are simple steps that we can all take if we join together to prevent drownings in America. And these simple steps and the advice and recommendations have been compiled at poolsafely.gov. We have materials in English and Spanish. We have videos that you can watch with, with your children. We have posters that you can download and share with your friends and neighbors. And these are all available for you free of charge from the federal government so that you can enjoy your pool safely at poolsafely.gov. As we've heard, we have nearly 400 children die every year in pools and spas. It's the leading cause of childhood fatality for children between the ages of one and four. It especially hits the black community more dramatically than it ought to. We need to get the word out this drowning problem that we face in our nation is preventable. The CPSC wants to emphasize that parents and caregivers should always designate someone to watch the water. And lots of organizations have water watcher tags that they will give out for free so that you hand this to the next person who's in line and they know they put that lanyard around their neck, they're in charge until they hand it off to the next person. It's a great idea. And there are a lot of great ideas all of them shared at poolsafely.gov. We don't want to uh, neglect to, to mention pool barriers. Keep pool barriers in working order. Main, maintenance is important. Self-closing and self-latching gates on all of your pool barriers is critical. And it is especially important to consider the use of an isolation fence, one that goes all the way around the water hazard in your, in your home. And, People do want to see the water. There's an aesthetic objection. People want to see the water. They don't want obstructed access to their pool, and I get that. You can get barriers that you can see right through, and they're beautiful, and they work, and they save lives. And that's another step that you can take to prevent fatalities associated with drowning. Learning to swim is a very important recommendation. Make sure everybody learns how to swim as soon as possible, and sign up at poolsafely.gov for our, our social media accounts, available also in English and Spanish. And learn about what supervision really means around a pool. Our goal really is to keep reducing the number of parents who, who don't know how prevalent drowning is. So share with your friends. This happens all the time. This happens when all sorts of families. Drowning can happen to your family even though you maybe don't think that it would. Drowning is a very preventable injury hazard pattern.